Not these big grown men talk about who follow who, girl. I'm a lady girl from around the way we have culture conversation and community and in today's video I'm finally coming to you all finally coming to you all with a bad boys Texas girl I don't know the name of the episode I barely know what day it is that this day <laughs> this video is going to go up okay but shout out to you if you still watching if you still here girl if we locked in Ain't no switching up or however that TikTok go. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram because I'm just trying to do a little something on Insta. Not really, but I feel like the people that follow me on Instagram and we're in communication, like I appreciate y'all. Like, girl, I'm liking all your shit, period. I'm gonna support you, period. Send me your you send me your business page. I'm gonna support, like, and follow, period. Okay. Now, let's get into the review because that's what we do. After the little fight scene, Adonis is still popping off. You just mad at me because Santana was on my dick. Blah, 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 this, that, the third. Don't nobody want Santana. Who wants a man with a beard, girl? Pause. Don't do Santana. Don't do Santana because he'll come over here and read everybody, especially Adonis. But um, I feel like it's so weird that Chef D was really with um Santana. Like, girl, I think Santana is like one of the girls. Like, Chef D don't give that. Mm -mm. I see why Carisha was trying to play him on that live. Like, he left you for dead, ho. Like, <laughs> for real. Pretty Mo comes up from behind and punches him. Then he goes off like, oh, I had to calm myself down. He's in the confessional talking about some. Oh, I just punched him because I ain't getting into no fight yet. Like, bro, even if that was the case, like, we don't need to know that as a viewer. Like, we supposed to be like, you make up something. You, like, trying to keep it too real. But being corny, being too real. Like, if you're going to be corny at least try to hide that you're being corny like are y'all feeling what i'm saying like i didn't need to know that because now i'm looking at you like he just doesn't offer me anything he's like one of those wallflowers that like just look really good it's nice to look at don't get me wrong but like what did he bring like i could have he could have got somebody else's spot it's not like he bringing out the itches we see in him he, two three girls show up to the house and he like it's giving nothing like what are you even doing besides looking halfway decent and now that you did that corny stuff to Adonis, you look even like, no, you look like one of the girls, actually. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> cause like, you know, I don't like that. <clears throat> I'm gonna just move on cause I don't wanna ruffle too many feathers. So Lou comes over, he starts orchestrating beef. You, you over here, you wanted to fight him. You was online, you da 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 da. Lou, oh, Lou, I feel like every other episode, I like him. What episode I'm like, oh, Lou is cute. He a Bob. He a Bob. Okay, maybe. Why, why, bitch? You know what I'm saying? And the next one, I'm like, oh, Lou, here the fuck we go with this shit. Lou's like, oh, we're from the same city. We're from Miami. I'm not about to come at this. We're from the same city. 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 Like, I don't know what city y'all from, but you could be in a city, north, east, south, and west. And north got beef with south, and east got beef with west. But I guess in this certain setting, I can see why you want to have that camaraderie. I get it. You get what I'm saying? And I'm a gross girl. Like, if you, especially, like, <laughs> period. But, Lou, move around. So, with Lou trying to orchestrate the beef, he's like, Big Banger, all right, you behind the couch. You hiding behind the couch. You're like, first of all, I'm not hiding behind the couch. And I'm about to, I'm not about to fight him because y'all want me to. Y'all trying to orchestrate this bullshit. Y'all trying to instigate it. And I like that. Like, Big Banger, he just sits on, like, where he stands. Like, he don't care what nobody say. Y'all can say whatever. I'm a Big Banger. I ain't going to lie. Adonis was standing pretty tall. Big Dickums said the next little old Big Banger. And that's what they say. Oh, Big Banger, Big Banger. What you, what you mean? What you about to do, Big Banger? And then... I feel like I Rob stood on one his principle. He didn't care about them cameras. He was y'all wasn't about to put no battery in his pack. Did I say that right? Cause y'all know I, I flipped some shit. Y'all know y'all know what I'm saying. And then too, like he stood on it, like yeah. And, I, and I'm not. You can do whatever. Natalie over there drinking her Red Bull, just waiting for the waiting for the views, girl. She already know what she done orchestrated. But um, Mo comes back and he dabs him up, like you alright with me, bro? Corny, a pretty boy. You get what I'm saying, like. Do something, start, do some workout. Like, bring some bitches over. See how you finesse with the ladies. Like, you trying to fight. But, it's a whole bunch of queens in the house. Like, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know why he played it like that. Because, I'm really not interested in anything about him. Right, truly. Like, on Bad Boys, 
the straight guys get ate up like they they are always an afterthought in the bad boys franchise for real outside of curtis but he aligned himself real heavily with natalie allegedly okay shout out to wendy <laughs> and then i didn't like how our ride was just like i'm not about to jump with him everybody jumping with him at the same time and then he tries adonis tries to beast up on him and yeah you came out here with this jerry curl and da 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 even that he didn't allow him to kind of like bait him into that because now you just want to have a moment you're not about to do that with me and down that was corny but i feel like everybody was just trying to come at you um they talk about some stuff about the live lou was trying to back down it sounded like he was backpedaling like i ain't never said it about you he said something about i wear i don't wear designer or i don't wear clothes that i made i wear designer he's obviously a style not a style. blue was a stylist the other boy custom makes what does that make up a seamstress girl uh an instagram celebrity really a custom designer whoever <clears throat> you know, anybody talking about that or whatever you were from miami and this is how he was like oh i'm 25 or whatever and he was just like you're much older than me he was like i ain't that much older he said he's like 28 or 30 or something i don't know but y'all let me just say this the leap from 25 to 30 is not that drastic baby it just just not like I, I don't even know how to say it it's like you know like from 10 to 15 is a five-year difference but at 10 you're a kid you're a tween you're not even a tween you're you're a kid still at 15 you're still a kid but you're a teenager 25 to 30 gives very much that <laughs> you know what I'm saying like or the opposite of that like you still can do everything that you can do at 30 but like it's just a little bit of an age difference like girl should I be going I was going it's just whatever it's not that like it's not that deep it's not that serious like girl I'm 25 but girl I'm 28 like girl 28 is closer to 30 yes but what I'm trying to say is the lifestyle and the problems between 25 and 28 is not that like drastic I don't know why these girls got y'all thinking that 30 is so old it's not let me be the first to tell you then they talk about Instagram and Jonathan tried to, you know, smoke him out with the whole and you was on Instagram with uh with Anthony or whatever the case may be. Like, okay, Jonathan. Don't nobody want no no uh issues with Johnny. <laughs> nobody wants no issues with you, Jonathan. Stop trying to force it. Big Banger again, he's trying to play Big Banger. You was on a small stage, I was on a big stage. And what I was gathering from that, you had the, you had the, uh, the process hair, or whatever you had, you ain't have on no, no outfit. It was giving me very much like Instagram has got my, you know, mind blown, which social media presents so many opportunities. I am not going to sit here and lie, but it does not make me the, what makes me different or what makes anybody different that has a social media platform is the work that you put in simply you know what i'm saying like it doesn't discredit the next man and you was on a small stage and da, da, da. it just so happens that i have a little bit of a platform that does not make me different or better than anybody else a person with a hundred and hundred thousand followers on instagram right now i am not going to be impressed or anything because what it says is you know how to get on the opposite side of the algorithm and you put in the work to do so literally that's literally all it means like i hate that people get like let social media gas them and I really don't like people like that because it never gave that. It gave a lot of things, but it never gave that. What I did like and appreciate is how he got up on, it, uh, on Orlando Brown. He said, oh, you all wash up, Disney star. Yeah, and you you on that. He was like, yeah, what you mean? I was, a, I was a child star from the age of 10 and I've been in that. He's like, yeah, you on the same show with me. And you're on the same show with me. And I was just like, you know what? I like Adonis for the simple fact that he's saying everything that everybody is thinking. Darrell at this point is no different than Rasby. They are on the same stage. He was in here go um Orlando. And I still have a suite. And I still have a suite. Yeah, in this house that we're all in on this network. Like, what does that even mean? Like, who knows if his pay grade was even all of this because he had to get bailed out. Was that a part of the advancement? They who knows what they're doing over there at Zeus Network. I heard the checks were cute, but I, they ain't like life changing. So it's also to a testament to, to you had this great success at this young age. You couldn't even sustain it that you're now on a stage with in a platform with me. Who's winning? A person who has had all of this help, all this support already plugged in from a person who's built and put in the work, but not like, you know, who put in the work to promote themselves, to get onto the same platform. I'll let y'all decide. 
I want to know what y'all think, but whatever. As B was looking over, like, I hope somebody come over to me because Raz B, I feel like, is the most surprised. Well, not the most surprising. I would have liked to see a reality TV um, with Raz B. Like, Lil Fizz. Maybe not Fizz. He's so corny. But Raz B and Boog. I don't even need Omari. Omari's on his own watermelon. He's on his own watermelon journey. And I like that. I like a, I like a good... Okay? I'm natural. I'm a natural woman, baby. I'm into all of the things that he's into. The staging and the... Listen, I get it. But I can see some messiness. Like a little... I don't want to see a dating show. But I can see them trying to do a fake little album that ain't nobody going to buy. Right? See... Bug's situation in his life with his relationship, see him with his kids even. Raz B, him going to the clubs, battling his little addiction because we know it's a little Okiana going on over there, questioning his sexuality. I could see a reality show with just J Bug and um, the young man Raz B. They go to a strip club a couple times, perform a couple little things. I could see that without minus Lil Fizz and minus Omarion. And Still, they have the elevated status of these OGs in the game without muddying up the brand with, and I don't, and I don't, y'all, I'm just saying it for real, and I don't mean it in a disrespectful way. Muddying up their brand and their life's work with the, the bullshit that they got to deal with with Bad Boys Texas. Getting a burger, put throwing in your face by a nigga with buckaroos. You get what I'm saying? Like, be for real. Would y'all be here for that? And I'll keep in mind, I'm a B2K fan, or was a B2K fan, because child, they trash. Um, Girl, I hope this video ain't gonna be too long. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like this type of commentary. They get in the car, they welcome a dynasty, like, all right, he here. And, and not, not for nothing, the dynasty's still on his own. I like it, I love it for him. Like I said, he was like, all I needed was a cup of water and I would have been right back to it. I like that. Uh, Orlando, Chef D, and Lou kind of talk about it. Chef D was just like, I feel like all that beef was with Lou and Lou, you kind of avoided that. Lou hints to the fact that he's kind of sick or whatever. Orlando said we should have just packed him out. Orlando just said that because he was mad. He pulled that Disney car, Disney star card. Like, damn, this nigga really, he really told me about myself. But yeah, Orlando, because you need, you can kind of calm it down too. You want to act all crazy and wild, but then I'm going to talk to you crazy and wild. Disney star, Eddie. Into Texas, they on the bus. Lucy don't feel good. Adonis and Orlando look want to be all chummy chummy. I feel like he did that because he know, you know, he know he wanted them. Prince talks about the allegations about him being gay, and Prince says basically like, you know, it messed with my confidence a little bit, which I don't, you know, like I can't like minimize his experience or whatever. He said I feel like it had the fact, it had to deal with the fact that Bobby was my best friend, which helped obviously you're on the platform. But, um, you know, he felt like he was confident he's cool with who he's cool with. But I feel like Darrell ex asking him that question was valid. Um, because he said, you know, how do you feel about always being associated with being gay and you're not? But I feel like there needs to be a bigger conversation and a larger conversation. And primarily, I'm talking to those who um, identify in the LGBTQ community. Shout out, it's Pride Month. Um, but, like, I feel like Prince... And I could be wrong, y'all. I don't, I'm not a gay man, but I feel like he did a certain level of like gay baiting. Like, you know, what I mean? like he knows he has a large fan base of gay men and he kind of like hinted, like played, and like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's a whole thing. And I don't really know. I don't have the language to really kind of talk about it at length because I don't identify with that community. But, um, and I haven't done the work, I haven't done any type of, I just feel like, it's kind of like you know how like y'all ever see this the videos of like the white men who are like bearded and like look like they're into like black women and stuff and they're like swirl life and I'm gonna treat you better than you know blah 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 whole time he's married to Rebecca at the house I feel like some of these guys do that race that 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 not race baiting but like gay baiting in that same way like oh yeah maybe maybe not you know what i'm saying like maybe you can have it maybe you cannot as long as you pay this 5.99 behind this paywall maybe you could see like but whole time you know you're not into that but it's a it's a marketing strategy damn i did all of that to say that like it's a marketing strategy i don't know how y'all feel about that but i don't like when the white men do that so i can imagine real gay men don't like that but then again maybe i like shit out I, I don't know let me know what y'all think if y'all if you know if you if you care to share y'all will know i like that if you care to share drop down in the comments i'm gonna leave right here y'all i'm rambling at this point again 
like comment and subscribe let me know what y'all think i am going to not even going to try i'm going to get back on the horse girl and i got some shows i want to review i got some other kind of content that i need to kind of put out because shit is going to be changing i need to be doing some more like podcast style stuff because it's just going to give that for the time being and i hope the ones that really fuck with me y'all fuck with it and we'll go from there all right as always i'm sending you much love and much light and i will see you in the next video peace